Before we dive into our instruction, I first want to cover what you will learn in this course. As mentioned previously, this course focuses on two critical valuation methodologies. And the first one, what I want to give a brief overview in this slide, is the valuation methodology known as trading comparables, or more colloquially, trading comps. To provide some definition around this, and I suppose both methodologies, is that these are known as extrinsic valuation methods. So intrinsic would be something like a discounted cash flow analysis where you're only looking internally at the company's financials, at their projected cash flows, at their, their perceived riskiness, and determining a value. Whereas here we're looking outward. We're looking to peers, we're looking to competitors as sort of guideposts to make an apples to apples comparison of our value relative to those of our peers. So to give a definition, trading comparables are ways of calculating a company's valuation based on the market values of comparable publicly traded peers. So for one example of this would be, and where you'll see this as we walk through our case study of Nike, a peer could be someone like Adidas or Puma or, or other peers that, that manufacture and design shoes that are in a similar business line to Nike. Now this type of valuation is generally expressed in the form of a multiple, and it's usually either enterprise value or equity value over some financial metrics, such as revenue, EBITDA, earnings per share, or if you're in pre-cash flow businesses, and, and this really harkens back to the dot-com era, um, you may see things like users or clicks or, or other newfangled concepts like that. Now, a couple key themes you're gonna continue to see pop up here are, as I mentioned, equity value and enterprise value. And how we calculate those, we're often going to see those in the numerator of our multiples. And, and there can be many adjustments. There, you really have to dig into the balance sheet to determine what these are. And we're going to walk through this through our case study. Furthermore, another key theme is going to be normalization and standardization of peer company metrics. So again, this is to make sure we can compare things on an apples to apples basis. So as it applies to revenue, or that's tougher to fudge, but maybe EBITDA, earnings per share, you may normalize figures, you may account for certain adjustments to make sure these can be compared uh, you know, apples to apples, like for like. Lastly, another key theme is going to be calendarization of comparable companies. And what you'll find is that different companies report their financials at different dates and have different end of year reporting, different quarterly reporting. So again, to make things apples to apples, you wanna make sure the timing of financials line up in particular for last 12 months or LTM. You wanna make sure it all collapses to the same date. And again, we're gonna walk through an exercise of this, but this is gonna be a very common theme. And I'd say there's one way to encapsulate these ideas, whether it's standardizing company metrics, whether it's calendarizing, for pure companies, it's that we want everything to be, and I'm gonna gonna be, beat a dead horse with this term, but apples to apples, like for like, or as some say, ceteris paribus, so that they're both equal. So structurally, the way we're gonna walk through this course is we're first gonna review key concepts and engage in introductory exercises. And then once we feel like you've gained a thorough understanding of the theory behind this, we're actually gonna apply this knowledge in a step-by-step -step approach by calculating valuation in our case study.